Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. Nice card to start the reading. We have Cornucopia, number 11. This is Wishes Fulfilled. You can see the dreaminess energy of that card. It's very bountiful and that is wishes fulfilled. It's getting what we want, getting everything that we want. Uh, dreams made real. This is the energy here. Number 11 is also a wonderful master number. Do look it up. It's very powerful in terms of manifestation. Archangel Michael card for you. We're looking at the 2nd to the 8th of September. So let's see what we have for you. Message for Sagittarius, Angel Spirits, guys. Okay, I've got three cards for you here. Welcome abundance into your life. Prosperity is on its way to you. Have faith that source will heal your financial challenges. Sometimes we have to have faith. We have number 31, take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. And finally, be honest with yourself, number five. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and let Source take it from there. All right, Sagittarius, let's pull some cards for you. Message for Sagittarius for the week ahead. Angel Spirits Guides, what do we have for Sagittarius? Message for Sagittarius. Strength. You are strong enough. Spirit is reminding you of that. Strength is when we need to tap into our inner power, our inner strength, our soul power as well. To face what needs to be faced, internal, you know, insecurities, fears, doubts, or it can be external as well. It could be a combination of them both. External adversities, challenges. It's about facing the reality of the situation head on and dealing with it because when we look at something you know it no longer really challenges us when we face it deal with it and overcome it so you're powerful enough to do exactly that to have the strength to face something okay we've got the devil it's a card of ego you know it's not like saying, oh, I mean, you can with the devil, but really, it's not really about, oh, someone's got a big ego. No, it's not really about that. You know, I mean, it can be with the devil, but a lot of the time it can be traits or behavioral patterns or, uh, you know, something that doesn't serve our highest good, whether it's our own actions or whether it's someone else's, you know, devil behavior can be... Uh, Attachment energy, it can be advice, you know, you can say that about greed, you can say that to do with, you know, um, you know, uh, addictions, you can say that to do with physical desire, passion, but knowing it's not serving our highest good, you know, behavioral patterns, jealousy, obsession, controlling behavior, manipulative behavior, you know, so this is what probably what needs to be faced this week. We've got the Seven of Swords, sometimes a card of secrecy and deception. The Five of Wands, conflict. The Death card. Six of Cups. The Fool. And we have the Page of Pentacles. A 
let's see what we have for you Sagittarius what do we have for Sagittarius I mean here we've got death of the ego let's see what we have for Sagittarius strength the chariot forward movement strength to take the reins and move forward two of cups my bond between two people can be new or renewed love sometimes friendship but this looks more like love romance One more card. The Ace of Wands, exciting new beginning. Sagittarius, this feels, um, I mean, you could be ending something here. The death card and the devil card, something's just not serving your highest good now. Now, when we have things like the five of wands, it can be going round and round and round in circles with no hope of it ever kind of being resolved. And I think this is why you're liberating from something here and starting a brand new path. It might well be that there's just been constant conflict, you know, with whatever this behavioral pattern is. It could well be for some of you a relationship. I mean, we do have soul, co soul connections here. But this definitely feels like um, you've been secretly planning. And it looks like secretly planning to leave. Something that's probably not serving your highest good now. You have the potential maybe of new happiness here. And it's like you're grabbing it with both hands. I mean, that's what I see here. Because there's something unhealthy to do with this devil. And I think that you're, you're liberating from that. This is out with the old and with the new. This is breaking free. This is breaking an attachment. Uh, that's not serving your highest good. But in that, we feel that sense of renewal and catharsis in terms of being able to wipe the slate clean and start on a brand new path. I mean, there's definitely a sense here of, of I want to just kind of clear out, clear out things that don't serve my highest good anymore, because I think that you have a real chance for happiness here. And I think that you're going for it. It's having the strength and courage to face something here and go for it. For some of you, you could be leaving maybe a relationship that's not serving your highest good. And it's brought to an end. Now, for some of you, the, the, death, the death card can also be a formal ending. So if you were kind of uh, formally ending ties with a person, the same energy would apply, you know, such as divorce. Um, you know, that would be the energy here too. And I think it looks like there's new happiness available to you here Sagittarius and it's like you're ready to grab it with both hands I mean that's what I see for you because again the whatever this ending is the cherry can be about victory and triumph so again it could well be for some of you you've been on some kind of journey where you've had to be strong but finally you're you, you're free I mean there's such a sense of, I'm free I'm free you know the load is lightning I'm free of this whole thing so this is what I see for you here, and you can welcome that kind of new happiness and fulfillment into your life. Now, for some of you, the, the additional message with the Eight of Wands, because we do have abundance. Abundance is when we don't feel lack. And clearly, you know, and again, the Five of Wands can also be about battles and conflicts, formal battles. So again, it could also be a formal process of breaking ties with an individual, you know, through some legal process. I mean, that could be for some of you. 
But now it definitely feels like you have an opportunity to grab new happiness with both hands and you're going for it, is what I see for you here. The additional message with the Ace of Wands is the Ace of Wands can actually be very exciting new beginning. It's fire energy, so I like seeing it in your reading. You are a fire sign. This is absolutely your element. And there's a new path full of possibility and growth and potential that's all exciting. It's connected to your heart and soul, your passion, your creativity, your desires. You know, um, the Two of Cups can also be linked with partnerships, our business partnerships as well. But in this reading, it definitely feels for some of you, you're, you're finally ending something, however that ending is taking place. For some of you, it could be a formal thing. But there's a feeling of it's over. The conflict is over. I'm done. And something that you have been keeping maybe to yourself in some way, you know, uh, the potential of new love kind of bubbling up, so to speak, you know, it feels now is your chance for happiness. With that, there may well be positive changes in your career as well. You know, even when I look at the bottom of the deck, the Three of Cups, reasons to celebrate, you know, that sense of, you know, uh, celebration, joy, happiness, abundance, coming together with kindred spirit, soul connections, you know. It feels like something is finally over and you're free. Now, yes, you could apply that situation to work, however that, that experience would be for you. If there's been some kind of ongoing conflict uh, with, again, lower vibrational energy in some way, but it's finally over and you get to move on to a fresh new beginning and the whole, the whole th the whole, your whole world just feels lighter and more positive because, again, you get the victory, the triumph and success that you've been pushing for. Page of Swords. I mean, I feel that there's good news here. Reasons to celebrate. Again, the, the magician, something to manifest here or that you really want to manifest or been manifesting. You're working your magic. Making it happen. Okay. What do we have for Sagittarius? Final message. Yeah, lost and found. I do see that you're letting go of something, but it feels like finding something else. So we have lost and found. And, and so the page of pentacles, very positive news to do with planting new seeds, cultivating the new, the new solid and stable. That can be in relationships. You can see that in terms of money, career, finances, property, real estate. So we have lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found. That thanks to the lost and found fairy, sometimes she can help us find things we never even realize were lost. Healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. We have hope. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Abundance again. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and human land. There's enough abundance for everyone. Yeah, like I said, in money, career, financial terms, you would likely be ending something that doesn't serve your highest good anymore. Uh, and you might have been secretly pursuing, and it could even be um, going somewhere, uh, something that you consider bringing you new joy, happiness and fulfillment. Or it could even be um, reconnecting to a past place of work in some way as well. Again, however that manifests for you, but I feel that you're just liberating from some kind of conflict, uh, some kind of, uh, I mean, in a workplace, the five of wands can be uh, one-upmanship, people doing what they need to do to get ahead, uh, playing up to the bosses, everyone's in it for themselves, not a cohesive team. So, I mean, you might be, you know, you might, uh, and, and sometimes, you know, companies do promote that kind of energy of competitiveness, but not in a healthy way. 
you know, actually not afraid to kind of like throw people under the bus or bitchy atmosphere or, you know, whatever that scenario is. So there is a sense here, Sagittarius, if this was a work thing that's affecting your relationship in some way, it might well be that you're liberating from that uh, manifesting something new. And it feels like everyone's celebrating with you kind of energy. <laughs> or you're reconnecting to a team and an environment and people that you've known, a work community from the past. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.